Welcome back everyone to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. Today I'm going to do a product review on the Conair Complete Steam 1500 watt garment steamer. I purchased it a couple of weeks ago for $61.19, the price you see there. I'm going to link this product in my description box below. Uh, first I want to tell you that the steamer that I received does not look exactly like this one. But I'm not disappointed in that. Uh, it did have the same uh, model number on the box. I think they've just kind of changed the thing since the picture was taken. But I want to go ahead and give you some of the pros and cons. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a seller on eBay and Poshmark, and I sell mostly pre-owned clothing. And I found myself getting tired of putting wrinkle, wrinkle release on clothing and putting them in the dryer. And my photos just didn't look that great. So I went ahead and broke down and bought the steamer. And boy, I'm glad I did. So let me just take let you see what it looks like when it's put together. Um, these This pole is adjustable, so you can adjust it to the height that you want. There is a hanger included. I do have arthritis, and so these clips are very, very tight. So it has been a little bit difficult for me to put the pants on there. When I'm steaming them, I think it might they make it a little loose as I use them more. Um, also, this bar down here at the bottom, I went ahead and removed it because of my arthritis and also bending over. Um, some of the pants didn't fit. I would have had to move the pole up and down, and it was just a pain in the butt. So I finally just removed that. I just leave the pant pants hanging. Sometimes I pull them at the hem, make them a little bit straight. Um, this tub here. Um, holds quite a bit of distilled water. I've been steaming for about, I guess, probably 10 days, and I haven't even used the full tank of water, so I am happy about that. One thing that you cannot see in this picture is on the other side of the machine is where the controls are, and it's a toggle switch. So you toggle it on uh, to the right, in the middle it's off, and to the left it's like on standby. So if I want to steam a piece of clothing and then just put it on standby and I have to flip the toggle all the way over, if I do that too many times, I'm afraid that the toggle switch is going to uh, run down. I've had that happen with computers and other electronics before, so I am a little bit disappointed in that feature because when you look at this photo right here, there seems to be some type of you know little toggle here that you do with your thumb, and mine does not do that. Mine, when you turn it on, the steam comes out all the time unless you use the toggle that's on the other side of this machine. I wish I could show you, but I can't. But that's really um, probably the most negative, I would say. Um, also, this hanger right here, I haven't been successful in actually hanging blouses or dresses, so I have to put them on the hanger that I would be using anyway to hang up for photos. I hook it right here, the hanger, and I've just made this, this pole go as tall as possible and leave the garment hanging there. So all in all, I give this a four out of five stars. I think for the price, it's exactly what I needed. I was expecting to pay over $100 for this item so do check out when Amazon has this um, specific model on sale again I do want to remind you that this model the picture is not what you will receive if you um, order directly from this link I do not have an affiliate link I do not make any money from promoting the steamer I just want to give you my thoughts please look for this and other product review videos on my channel as well as channels on reselling clothing, appliance parts, and also on bullet journaling. Thanks again for joining me, and please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video.